Visco. Hello everyone, welcome to the Visco YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to configure the people counting function for supported Hig vision cameras and linking them to a supported NVR so that you can read the people counting reports and export them locally. To utilize this feature, the camera itself needs to come with the people counting feature usually listed with the term deep learning or deep in view. One such camera is this 6365 fish eye camera that I have with me here. It must be noted that the people counting feature is done fully on the camera, so I recommend checking the datasheet of a camera first to assess the availability of this feature. To display the people counting report locally, you will need an I or M series NVR which is fitted with a hard drive to store the events and reports locally. When installing the camera, ensure that the camera has a clear view of the exit and entrance area that you want to monitor. After installing the camera, we can proceed to do the configuration through the browser. Now to configuration of the camera. First, enter new admin password and activate the device. Then you can change the IP address accordingly. Then you can enter the website for the camera configuration by typing the IP address. Currently, we are in the live view tab for the fish eye cam. One thing to note is that for this 6365 fish eye cam, the people counting fascia and the hardware decoding feature to expand the camera view cannot be run simultaneously. Now, to set up the people counting function, go to the VCA tab on the left and enable the people counting function. While this function will utilize some storage memory for data keeping, the camera comes with its own memory so you don't need to expand the internal memory to use this function. Now click next and then select the people counting function in the middle to set up the rules for the people counting function. Here click enable to activate the rule list for a region. The rules here refers to the counting area which is the red box and also the detection line which is this yellow line with the arrow which will count any person crossing the direction of the arrow. The setups are specific to one region and you can add up to three regions at a time. You can change the name of your rule setup here and also adjust what data to display on the OSD or on-screen display overlay content which is the yellow box on the corner. The reset time for the flow overlay data can be set here also or you can just manually reset it. In the previous stream, you can select any of the rules overlays to move them as you please or delete them individually with the X icon here. You can also clear all rules by clicking on the garbage icon. To draw a new counting area, click on the leftmost icon and draw the sides for your counting area. Then you can add your detection line with either these two options. One will give you a straight line which you can adjust the length accordingly, while the other will give a segmented line where you can adjust the three connected line path to better fit your entrance exit area. You can also flip the detection line direction using the button here. Adjust the detection line according to the entrance exit area and click save to continue. Next, you can set the arming schedule for the people counting function on a weekly basis and also enable the linkage method to notify the surveillance center whenever this function is activated. For the data upload, you can set whenever the people counting data is uploaded in real time or uploaded periodically which you can set as required. Finally, you can enable display VCA settings to show the visual indicators in the stream whenever video content is analyzed, such as whenever the camera detects and counts a person entering and exiting a premise. With all settings done, now I will show you how to display and export the people counting report. On a single camera, you can directly see and export the people counting report through the web portal. However, if there are multiple people counting cameras, you can use an I or M series NVR to display the reports from multiple sources, which I will show you later on the video. For now, 
To display the report of this camera, select the application tab on the left and select people counting. Click search and you can see the people counting data. This data can be displayed in list form, bar chart form, and also in the line chart form. On the left tab, you can set the report type, whether to see a daily, monthly, or annual type of your report. You can also set which statistic you want to check, whether it is people entering, exiting, or both. The start and end period for that report can also be adjusted according to preference. You can also export using the export button here. Here, I have an, an example of a report that has been exported. Now, I've shown you how to set up and display the report on the web portal. I will show you how to connect the camera to the NVR to display the report and export it. Now, to configure the people counting function and display and export report through the NVR, first, add your people counting camera. Then, go to statistic report and select your people counting camera. From here, you can see the same report as the web portal one. Through the NVR, you can also select the same report types that you can see like weekly and monthly you can also select the time period that you want to see the people counting report of you can also export directly to a USB drive that is connected to the NVR so that's all for now if this video has assisted you please leave a like and subscribe to the Bisco group channel thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Visco.